Hey everyone, Tracy here. It was asked that I do a quick little video explaining how to set up your online store. What you're going to do is you're going to receive a link from whoever is helping you set up your online store or a link that um, is from your upline that already has an online store. So if I'm helping someone, I always try to give the link to the person that is their upline if they happen to have a store. If not, then I'll give you my link. Okay, so here's my link. By using this link, it's going to give you $1,000 in free credit card processing. This is amazing because you get it for 180 days. I started this one about three days ago and I'm already at 850 left. So it doesn't take long. So thousand dollars in free credit card passing for the next ninety day, next hundred and eighty days, or your thousand dollars, whichever comes first. So it gives it to you, and it gives it to the person's link that you were using. So really important to make sure you share these links and get you more credit card processing because that does save you some money. So when you click this link, what you're going to receive and get to is going to be this window. This window here will actually show you um, how to sign up. You're going to enter your, your email address, you're going to confirm it, create your password, and so forth, and then hit your continue button. And then once you're all signed up, you're going to come to a page. Let's get back to my home page. You're going to get to a page that looks like this. Of course, it won't have any money or anything like that on it. It's just a basic page. And then this basic page here will allow you to go down to your account settings. You're going to set up the name of your company, your password. You can set it up, uh, change it, put security questions on there. You can also deactivate your account if you decide it's not for you on this page. But the most important thing you want to go to is your business information. From your business information, you want to go to your order setup. After you put in your company name, put in your company logo, or you can use a picture of yourself. I actually have a company logo that I use. A um, little bit about what your store is going to be about. And then you put your, your uploading, uh, can't talk today, put your picture for your banner for your store. If you want to set hours, you can. Mine's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so I don't set any hours. You will include your you include your Twitter username, your Facebook username, and of course your link to your store, and then click your save button. That's your first steps, of course. Then you'll click your go to order setup. From your order setup, you want to add your products, okay? To add products, we're gonna order, let's see if I can add something in here I don't have currently. And I'll show y'all how to add that. So what you want to do is you want to click add an item. You want to edit that item by clicking add image. And let's see here. Let's go with something I don't currently have. I don't think I have this in there. Mm, don't see it, so let's add it. So let's add this one here. This is the Sizzling Lips and Hips. You want to set a name for it. You want to kind of keep it as small as possible because it's going to be part of your username. And we're going to say, hmm. Well, we need to come up with some colors, don't we? So it might not have been a good idea to choose this one. Let's go over here to our website. And I have found to always keep your website open. So it makes it things a little easier. And then we're going to click over here to select your product. And let's just do one. We'll do the sizzling lips and hips apple. Oh, geez, there we go. And then you want to paste that in there. And if it's 1920, normally you can get by with charging what the retail is and then saving them on the shipping. But again, you have to set your own price. I'm actually going to set the price at $20 for mine. And I want to sell this product online, so I'm going to available 
for shipping. I never do pickup. I always like to use the description the company uses. It makes things a little easier for me. And I want to click the Save button. Now I can go in and I can add additional photos by clicking the Add Images button. I can add this image and I can even say a little something about it. That image, that image, and even that image. And I'll click the Save button. So I want to go up here and I want to take a look at my, my page and see what it looks like before it goes live. Okay, only have the one in here for the Sizzling Lips and I did the green apple. Of course, if I'm going to add this, I actually would add each flavor so my customers could choose which one they want. And then each one of these videos or each one of these photos will pop up for them to take a look at the coloring, give them a little information about it. And the fact that sizzling don't really care for that one because it kind of cuts the picture off so I will probably not use that one and I'll go back and I'll remove that one by clicking the little X over here in the bottom corner and that is pretty much it guys and just click the Save button and it's all set up and that's how you add a product now to do your online profile again you want the information about you and your business Here's your photo for your cover photo. Add your information. You want to do your store settings. This is going to be where you're going to set your URL for your store. Mine is the new you. If I was offering pickups, then I would put that information in here that you can come to my home and pick up the order or I can meet you in such and such place and you can pick up the orders. I can actually charge shipping. If I want to charge additional shipping, I can do that. I can set my time from one day to 60 days before I ship out an order. I always have mine set at seven. That allows me enough time to place an order through Sizzle or whatever company I'm actually promoting that product through. And I can get that product into my home by that time period and get it mailed out. And if you want to offer a return policy, you can do that. And that's pretty much it to make sure your account goes live you want to click the screen button up here in the corner where it says active and you can make it visible online accepting orders visible online but not taking orders and then not visible online that's it make sure you always click the save button and that's how simple it is if you have any questions feel free to message me talk to you soon